M0FXB, welcome to my channel. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I had a hiccup after doing my firmware upgrade 2.05 on the Anytone 878 Mark II. So what it is, when I went to do the MCU reset, or master reset, I'll do it now. Hold down the PTT and the button underneath, marked as number one, I think. And when I turn on, as, as you can see, it doesn't master reset. I'll keep it pressed and nothing happens. And it doesn't really, the firmware doesn't take until you've done the master reset. So there you are, it's come on like normal. So let's turn it off. Now let's go to our code plug here. Uh, and it's the version that comes with this firmware. Let's go to optional settings and look here on the power on mode. If you look here at the bottom, startup reset is set to off by default. I don't know why, because I've never seen that before, because I've done this so many times. So I click OK, turn, so select on, then click OK, save it. OK, save that there. Right, now let's try it again. So finger on the PTT and the button underneath, turn it on. Fingers crossed this time. Still not showing it yet. Right, that didn't work, so let's keep trying. Yeah, I made the obvious mistake. I didn't write it to the radio. So once you've changed the setting, as I showed you, remember to go program, write to radio, then try it. So let's turn it off. We've just written it to the radio. And let's push PTT and the button, turn it on. And this time we get it. So are you sure you want to initialize? Click confirm. And then we get the option now to uh, set the dates and time once it initializes. Now, we've, of course, we've saved the code plug already, so we can reload it. So I'll just click confirm for now, and then I'll, I'll do it later. But now the firmware has properly gone in. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll just actually load up the code plug while we're here. So we'll go file. Actually, we've got it on the screen now, so let's just go program, set the COM, which is set to COM3. Now we're on Windows 11, so you see this little blue square here? Right click, uh, device manager, COM. And we did have to reload the GD32 COM, which is on the PowerX site. So he goes right to radio. Actually, we're going to write, let's just cancel a minute. Going to write to the radio. Oh, I'm doing this wrong, cancel. Right to radio, we are going to write all of the contacts as well. Click that box, and then when it are uh, in the future, you won't need to click OK, and that will write everything, including all your contacts, to the radio. So, uh, yeah, 7 3, thanks for watching. All the best.